Hey everyone, welcome back to EWG. Today I'll be sharing some health tips to get you through this global pandemic of coronavirus. So number one, you need to stay indoors and make sure you only go out to buy essential items such as groceries. Make sure not to go out to do general shopping because it may make you more exposed to the coronavirus when you don't need it. So if you if there's a lesser if there's a lesser amount of times you go outside, then there'll be a lesser exposure amount. Therefore, there'll be a reduced risk of getting and contracting coronavirus. When buying groceries, always make sure you want it and don't keep touching it because there's a risk. For example, you have a cold, you might transmit that cold onto the box, and the next person who comes and touches it gets the cold. For example, someone else, the the same thing happened, someone else coughed and the dro- particles went on it, then you can obviously contract it from that. And if you keep touching it more, you have a higher chance of getting it. So make sure you touch it once. If you don't want it, you don't want it, you don't touch it. If you want it, touch it and get it. If it's possible, go and get the items at the back of the shelves or at the back of the fruit aisle. So that because there they have a less chance of getting the droplets of the airborne particles of coronavirus from a cough or a sneeze because they're a further distance away. And make sure to cover your arm with a flexed elbow like this when coughing so that the cough and sneeze only goes into these two sections of the the arm. So therefore limiting the amount of airborne particles that go outside as it may damage the health of others around you. Buy necessary items with common sense. Make sure not to hoard the items because if you hoard items, then like toilet paper in Australia, basically, so many people have hoarded toilet paper. Sometimes the next person comes, they need four rolls or something, and then they have no rolls left and they've restock it the next day and they're out of toilet paper. Well, it's non essential items. It's essential items like rice, a cereal, and flour and goods like that what you need beans they if they run out they only stock them the next day you're going to be giving a hard time to the other person because they're not going to be able to get it use some common sense get the item you want and continue when transporting goods from the car to the house place the goods in a section where you don't really touch that area and then disinfect the goods with wipes such as these or a disinfectant spray such as an Ajax. Once you disinfect, uh, take those packets of foods, dispose of the packaging. After you dispose of the packaging, put it closed in a container where it's not exposed to any droplets. The risk of coronavirus is a source from BBC how it shows um, how one person self-isolating can create only 2.5 cases, whereas if so many people go out, it causes a drastic increase in cases more than 10 times the, the required. Always follow government rules and don't go out if they say stay in. So many people are going to beaches and it's not a necessary thing as I said before in point two, because you can obviously stay home and you can obviously relax at home. You can do exercise at home. There are many, many online tips and tricks to do exercise at home. You can always do that rather than going out. If you want to go out, go out in your own land, in your own plot. Don't go venturing out for no reason. Taking Panadol now is becoming a huge craze because stores are chemists and, and stores have been running out of Panadol or acetaminophen um, because they think it's going to cure the coronavirus symptoms. Well, it does cure the coronavirus symptoms of a fever, but the coronavirus does not get cured in this time. Only thing is the fever is gone, the runny nose, the headache is all gone. So there are two types of masks, which is one, a surgical mask, which most people wear, and there's also an N95 mask, such as this one here. So these come in a variety, these have a filter at the front sometimes, sometimes can look like these. So I'm going to tell you how to put on a surgical mask first. I'm going to tell you how effective these are against blocking droplets of sneezes or coughs. So a surgical mask, you have to put it over your nose first, over your ears, then do a shoelace knot. Or, or whatever knot you, you feel most comfortable with. and tighten it around the neck with the same shoelace knot again but tighten it a bit above the neck 
so it's not restricting the blood flow from these sides. As you can see, there are many holes like here and here and at the bottom here, which allow droplets of coronavirus to get through, and that can cause severe problems, obviously. So if someone coughs directly in your face, you're protected, but when you sneeze, the droplets go through these areas, these areas, same with the cough as well. So you're, you're not only transmitting the infection to other people with wearing this mask, um, you're also getting it transmitted to you. But with this, all the particles are covered up and everything is ready to be sealed inside this. Dispose of this once you're finished with it on a maybe three days to one week basis. If you're not able to get a hold of any N95 masks, don't worry, this is another solution. This is kind of the second best mask you can use for this type of situation. And if you're going to put on an N95 mask, which is significantly more effective, you're going to have to do it like this. So first, headband over your ears, and this can go as a chin strap. This goes on your nose. like such. So all these areas now have been blocked off because of this N95 mask's protection. This mask also has a fluid shield level 3 rating which means it also blocks direct contact. This also means that any particles coming from the side because it's all blocked off here and the serrated edges also provide extra filtration on the bottoms and the sides and tops. So your face, your mouth, your nose is basically safe from the virus from when you wear this mask. Do not share masks as it can create problems with sharing. It's like sharing drinks basically. Your saliva is being transmitted from this and your breath as well obviously. Anyway, that's that's all I have for today guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you find this information useful and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.